Well, a somewhat bleak morning, but it's not really raining, just sprinkled a bit. This day has been so crazy. I just came through that pass, and now the sun's out over there. After I was just in freezing rain and wind earlier, and now it's nice out. <laughs> It looks like the light of a clear blue morning is slowly becoming gray as I leave the hut. Just looking back at the hut, there it is, and you can see up in the Wyo Pass, they got snow. I've now crossed this river as the wind blew against me. So like the river pushed me one way, the wind pushed me the other, it was insane. And now I'm heading for another river to cross. And here is the Doubtful River. It's pretty fast, but I'm about to cross it. Didn't drown today, so I can progress. My, how the weather has changed. What a beautiful afternoon this has turned out to be. Uh, look at that river. Beautiful. Well, spent a nice night in a little lodge shelter and my socks and everything dried, which is super awesome and surprising. And then of course, the first thing I had to do today was cross this little dinky stream through the grass and get my feet wet. <laughs> Here we are at the tail end of Lake Sumner. Kind of smells though, there's been a lot of cattle traffic in this area. And what a beautiful day this has turned out to be. So far, no rain as predicted. Just absolutely stunning out here, heading to Harper's Pass. It's so tedious. There are roots everywhere, the trails going slightly up and slightly down constantly, so it just makes for a very exhausting hike. Just so much shit all over the place, rocks and trees and roots. Oh gosh. Ugh. Who knows what this day has in store. After all the rain we had last night, a couple river crossings ahead, but this one's dry. Made it to the top of Harper's Pass. <sighs> and now there's the other side where I'm gonna be heading down Eventually to Arthur's Pass. I really have no idea where I am right now. Going in the right direction at least, but there's no trail. I'm just walking through the grass. I haven't been showing all the river crossings, but there's been a lot today. Small, but now I'm crossing this one. I don't even know what it's called. So I just crossed another river, and now apparently the track's gonna get really rugged, and the hut I'm trying to get to, they say is eight to nine hours away, but I wanna get there in four to five hours, because it's almost five o'clock. So we'll see how this goes. Well, I've been killing it, but man, is this exhausting. All these rocks and rivers. This is actually the trail, for real. It's just a stream. And I'm supposed to go climbing up. Almost done. Well, this is it. That goat pass kind of uh, makes you in awe of nature. How this is what we have to do just to get over the mountains. There's no other way around except these passes back in the day. But man, it's bleak. Another river ahead to cross a million times. And my knees are in such pain after yesterday. 
came from over there in the valley, up there was Goat Pass. I'm following the river up to here. Clouds are burning off. It's beautiful scenery. And heading into the next valley. And now the trail is just taking me through a field. There's no markers. Just says, oh, follow the river and cross it where you think it's safe. Great. Well, it's the last river crossing for this section of trail. Well, that's done. I need a break. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I thought I'd be sitting here all day waiting for you. No idea where you are. I did 50 Ks yesterday through the roughest shit just so I could get here early. Because I want pizza. And uh, thanks to Tom, we're off trail now. And I'm enjoying this pizza to myself. <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to know more, see more photos, check out my blog. And here's a little taste of what's to come next time. So like, comment, subscribe.